Yo, what up? So today's vlog is probably gonna be pretty short. Uh, just because I want it to be. <laughs> I've had a couple long ones the last couple of days. So if you haven't seen them, you can go back and check those out today. Uh, I'm fixing to get me a quick workout in. Uh, Bo and uh, Ezra and Ellie are still at the beach. Coming home tomorrow, I'm pumped, I miss him, can't wait to see him. Um, but I just was thinking as I was doing my jog, pre-workout, warm-up, how <clears throat> I can't really wrap my mind around why people have such a hard time getting in shape. Um, and, I, and I think it just boils down to this right here. Shh, let me just say this first, that there are some people, I, w I will not discount the fact that some people have medical problems that prevent them from exercising and certain diets, whatever. But you need to know that I have a medical problem too. Uh, a lifelong, life altering uh, diagnosis at the age of 13 of type one diabetes changed my life forever. And I have to walk, count every carb that I eat, have to pay attention to every single thing I eat, even when I'm not eating and I'm just exercising or even when I'm not eating and I'm just working, I have to pay attention to my blood sugar. Uh, it could be, you know, seven, eight, at, at first, seven, eight pr finger pricks a day. And now, thankfully, through technology, it's a little bit simpler for me. I can just take a look at my pump and see what it is, but still got to calibrate it. Right now, I don't even know what my blood sugar is. I got to go home and calibrate it as soon as I'm done. Um, but it's something that's always on your mind. So my point is, we gotta stop with the excuses, right? Um, part of personal development, which is what I am a proponent of, personal growth and development. I think that God created you with a plan and a purpose. He created you for greatness. He created you to be the best version of you. We need you, the, the world needs you to be the best version of you. We don't need you to be average. We don't need you to be mediocre. We don't need you to just try to fit in like everybody else when you were created to stand out. And so anyway, um, I have a hard time wrapping my mind around why people don't want to, but I think it boils down to this. You don't, you have to want something more than you want something else, right? So if you feel like you're overweight, I'm, let's just call it what it is. You feel like I'm fat, right? Well, you got to want to be in shape more than you want to be fat, right? In other words, a lot of times it boils down to you got to want to be in shape you gotta want to lose that weight more than you want that particular food that's giving you a problem. You gotta wanna be in shape more than you want to go through that drive-thru and get that milkshake and, and cheeseburger. And now I'll be the first one to tell you, you can ask my wife, I love fast food, junk food, I love sweets, I love chocolate, I love ice cream and cake and cookies. I love it all, but Ever since I finished playing baseball, even then I love working out, but ever since I finished then, I wanted to try to see if I could get in the best shape of my life. I never had a six pack abs in my life until a few years ago when I finally just committed to, in my mind, I just, I, I said, I'm, I'm committed to the process and I'm gonna make it happen, however it works. And, and I made it happen. And then I kind of gone back and forth some, but that's because I realized there's at times I want something else worse than I want that. And so, um, I don't know what it is for you in your life, but whatever it is that you want to change, you got to be willing to give up something else for it. If you want to get in shape, then you might have to look into getting in shape. You might want to uh, look into taking a few walk, uh, walks around the block. You might want to look into a different diet. You might want to look into uh, working out with weights. I don't know what it is, but you gotta want something else worse than you want whatever you're going through. One thing that I cannot stand, like, hey, if somebody's fat and they wanna be fat, they're like, I love my food, I don't wanna do anything else, I don't care if it kills me, then, hey, kudos to you. Go, go do what you do, that's fine. I mean, I don't encourage it, but if that's your, that's your choice. We get to choose, and remember, your choices today affect you tomorrow, so go, go do that. 
But those people who are like, I just can't lose the weight. I just can't do it. I don't know how to do it. It's a mental problem. It's a decision problem. It's that you don't want to be in shape more than you want the cookies or whatever it might be. And so look, where whoever you are, wherever you are watching this, I know that might, this may come across as harsh, but at the end of the day, you either need to get on with it and make something happen or quit complaining. Like if you don't want to make it happen, fine, but quit complaining about it, right? So uh, that's just the, the message that I wanted to bring to you today was simple. You gotta want something else more than you want something else if you want something to change, right? In order for you to get better, you gotta, you gotta hate something else worse. Like you gotta, you gotta hate losing in order to start changing your mind that you're gonna start winning something in life. I got sick and tired of saying, I wish I could write a book. I wanna write a book someday. So I finally just committed that I'm going to write it and I'm gonna do it and I did it because I hated the thought in the back of my head that you have a message on your, on your head and in your heart that came from the Lord and you're supposed to share that with other people. Don't let yourself get to the end of your days. Don't go to the graveyard having not gotten that out. And I kept over and over again, I kept saying, I should, I should. And I was young when I wrote it, don't get me wrong. I was 22, so that's still pretty young. But still, I had been thinking about it for since I was a kid. Um, so anyway, all that being said, I got so sick and tired of saying, I wish I could, I should, I know I should, I feel like I should, um, but you got, and you just gotta do it. So whatever it is for you, hey, be encouraged, get out, go fight for your dream, go fight for something, fight for something. If, you, if you're sick and tired of something, well then go find something that you can fight for to make that better, to change it. I'll see you tomorrow.